Good Friday morning, everybody, from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome to our latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, giving you the weather you need to know as we go into the weekend. Weather for people on the go from the station that's on your side, helping you to know a little bit more about the forecast. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything about what you'd like to see on here, to give me a line drop at austin.onic at wreg.com. Heading into later on tonight, we're going to be seeing again the possibility of some fairly windy conditions coming up as we have a new cold front on the way so as we get into this evening we will see winds switching out of the north northwest and we will also see the possibility of some of those winds increasing to around 15 to 25 miles per hour right about the time Friday night football kicks off so if you're heading out to the game tonight little if any chance of any rainfall expected but we will be also looking at some pretty breezy conditions out across the mid-south through this evening and overnight into the weekend which could exacerbate the possibility of of some more wildfire and we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit we actually have new updated information the burn ban list for the state of mississippi has increased we've got new counties to add to that list and we've got two hurricanes into the atlantic right now nicole has become a hurricane matthew is crawling its way up the east coast we'll talk more about that in the forecast in just a little bit forecast for the mid-south in the red bar at the bottom of the screen we've got temperatures back in the 90s yes again for today but then cooling off into tonight as we see the wind begin to switch back around to the north into tomorrow and looking much nicer. Very warm today. Golfers out and hitting the course at Windyke Country Club and a lot of sunshine out there. A little haze out on the horizon but otherwise not bad. And temperatures over the next few hours making their way into the high 80s by lunchtime. Mid to upper 80s to lower 90s a good possibility as we head into later on this afternoon. So picking up the kids from school, it's going to be very warm out there. Kids going to school this morning, not much of a problem. Shirt sleeve weather by later on this afternoon into this evening. And unfortunately, no chances of rainfall <coughs> Excuse me, in the Mid-South as we get into the course of the next several days. So if you have any plans for outside, the weekend actually looks pretty good. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit, as well as a look into the weekend forecast and beyond, which has very dry weather expected into the course of the next several days so if you have any plans for out there again not looking too bad across much of the mid-south looking up the coastline around areas of florida it is a very active morning up this direction as matthew continues to make its way up the east coast as we record this just to the east of daytona beach and officially the storm has not made landfall at this time so it continues to creep its way up the coastline and will continue that direction throughout the rest of the day today it is still several hundred miles miles away from the Mid-South. It is not a threat to us in any way, shape, or form. We do have a new cold front on the way to the Mid-South, and that's going to be giving us some clouds, possibly, but beyond that, for the metro area and the rest of the Mid-South, we're seeing little, if anything, taking place uh, in the way of rainfall across much of the area. We do have some scattered showers back around Fort Smith, Alma, down to around Cove, and into around southeastern areas of Oklahoma. Northeast Texas picking up the lion's share of anything involving in some of that cloud cover making its way into central Arkansas and eastern Arkansas as we look as this front begins to make its way into parts of the area but beyond that we're just not really looking at too much of anything in the way of rainfall all that rain is making its way into very dry air so chances of rain for us been none rest of the day today cool enough this morning for a hot cup of Java and then as you go into the rest of the day definitely want to try to cool down with something a little bit more chilly as we look for some very hot temperatures across much of the mid-south Mississippi River should be rising to crest just below 8 feet and then sinking throughout the rest of the weekend to about 7.7 .7 above the zero stage as we head toward Monday. And again, hopefully a quiet weekend out there. But Matthew, of course, is going to be the big story into the weekend as it hugs the coastline, making its way up through the Carolinas and southeastern Georgia, and then eventually curving its way back up and out into open water as a Category 1 storm making its way back out into the Atlantic. But it could begin a loop-the-loop -loop process, making its way into the Atlantic and maybe heading its way back down toward the Bahamas and Florida again early next week. This is not the situation we would like to have but we're going to be watching with a lot of interest to see what goes on as the storm system moves on through winds in and around the coastal areas for the weekend if you have any plans to travel this direction definitely want to watch out for heavy winds in the area of 74 miles per hour plus on the coastline states georgia carolinas in that area and that'll continue right on into the weekend the coal appears to be not too much of a problem making its way back to the north creeping up on bermuda not a threat to the area at this time here in the tropics Again, those computer models that we've been watching 
over the last few days will continue to give us headaches throughout the rest of the weekend as the storm cycles its way up the coastline and then begins to work its way around the area from the coast of the United States. Now some of these models are taking this storm system back up to around the New England area but only a couple of them. The rest of them are circling it down back toward the Bahamas and doing it pretty quickly. So something again to watch out for as we go throughout the rest of the weekend. And here in the Mid-South, mainly going to be looking at windy conditions as that front begins to move on through. The front again making its way through the Mid-South as we get into around early portions of this evening. And then by later on this evening, most of that front should be passing its way all the way out of the Mid-South and into around portions of northern Alabama, middle Tennessee, and over toward Georgia. Cool but dry and windy, and that's going to allow for the possibility of wildfires to be taking root into the rest of the weekend. So please use caution with anything involving fire or flame. Looking at some sunshine, lots of students out at Ole Miss for this morning. Sunshine at Heidelberg Elementary on the area around Clarksdale for this morning. Power Center Academy looking like a little bit of rainfall would be nice for the grass in Memphis, Tennessee. Olive Branch, plenty of sunshine there from former mayor of Olive Branch, Sam Reichert's webcam at City Hall and Ranger 2015's webcam showing a decent amount of sunshine at the construction site in Senatobia, Mississippi. Rest of the weekend, again, not really seeing too much of anything in the way of really nice weather coming up just yet, but for the last few days we've been stuck at 89 degrees for three days in a row have not crossed over into the 90s for a while but still pretty doggone hot. No rainfall yesterday, two hundredths of an inch fell with those minor showers earlier a couple of days ago on Wednesday and beyond that really not much. We're behind for the month by nearly two-thirds of an inch and that's about as much as we got for the entire month of September. We could definitely use some more out there. New burn bans in effect, an elevated fire risk possibly going toward a moderate or high risk into the weekend. No burn bans according to Arkansas Division of Forestry, Tennessee does not issue burn bans except on an exceptional need basis and for Mississippi seven counties in the News Channel 3 viewing area are now under burn bans approximately 25 across the entire state of Mississippi the only counties not under burn bans at this time are DeSoto, Tunica, Coahoma and Quitman counties in Mississippi the rest burning outdoors is prohibited so please keep that in mind chances of rainfall as that front approaches will be sticking around Little Rock back up toward Harrison Arkansas maybe even over toward Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri but none for us as that front prepares to make its way through the Mid-South. Winds will turn around to the north-northwest. Very mild evening. Friday night football starting off very warm. Temperatures in the 80s around kickoff and then dropping through the 60s as we go toward News Channel 3 at 10 and around midnight. Daybreak on Saturday. Numbers dropping into the lower 50s and those breezy northerly winds will be continuing into the rest of the weekend. So for today, the winds turn to the northwest, mostly sunny, very warm. Temperatures remain around 90 degrees today. Much nicer, below normal temperatures as we go into Saturday and remaining quite nice as we get into Sunday with temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. Rest of next week, fairly close to normal, back in the lower 80s for highs, mid to upper 50s to lower 60s for low temperatures, but notice again on the bottom row in the blue bars, we are seeing little, if anything, over the course of the next several days. Less of a chance of anything involving rainfall until we get into around next Sunday. Then we see the possibility of maybe a stray chance of a shower or thunderstorm. Hopefully that changes in the next few days because we can desperately use that rainfall. Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding their monthly meeting tonight. It's free. It'll be at Christian Brothers University in central Memphis in Auditorium 153 of Assisi Hall. Tonight's topics, video astronomy, how to get the most out of your video camera when using it for astronomy purposes, and the history of gravity. Should be some nice viewing conditions out there for some stargazing during the break. Mostly clear to partly cloudy tonight. More at memphisastro.org. And for this weekend, Sunday at Kennan Observatory, in Oxford, Mississippi, at the University of Mississippi, a free viewing session will be held, weather permitting, open to the public, families and kids. They'll be taking a look at the moon, star clusters, different nebulae, and if you'd like to know more about that, physics and astronomy department at Ole Miss. That'll be this Sunday at 7 p.m., hopefully remaining clear, but a few clouds could interfere from time to time. Great opportunity to learn more about astronomy in the Mid-South. More meetings coming up for Skywarn. If you'd like to know more, please drop by to find out more at wrg.com, and also 
Don't forget about my radio forecast this weekend on the EAB Network, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3 on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, Monday through Friday of next week. And don't forget to pick up our app at the App Store, whatever phone you use. Go to your App Store and search WRAG Weather and tweet me whatever pictures you got. We'll share them this weekend, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Contact me at austin.onik at WREG.com if you'd like to know more about the forecast or have questions about this weather blog, and we'll update this throughout the rest of the weekend. Stay tuned for my forecast coming up on air and online on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining us.